What's happening there, Pretty Keto Dad here, and today we made strawberry ice cream that's keto friendly. It's delicious. Check this one out, you're gonna love it. Let's go ahead and get started. There's kind of two parts to this recipe. One is the strawberries, one is the, uh, the whipped cream portion. So I'm gonna take the strawberries, stick them in my Ninja here. I'm gonna add my sweetener to the strawberries. You can add it to either, but I think it's a little bit easier just to put it in with the strawberries. We're gonna do three droppers full of it. This is liquid stevia. And I'm getting to the end of it. There we go. Now we're gonna add in the erythritol. So you can use Swerve, you can use um, whatever powdered erythritol you can find. This is from So Nourished. And we're gonna do just one tablespoon of that. Actually make it two. And we like the powdered because you don't taste the granular or like the crystals when you eat it. Sometimes if you use the granulated sweeteners, you'll actually like, it has a little grit to it, but you don't want in your ice cream. So I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. Pulse it a little bit. All right, look at that. Oh yeah. That is the goodness that's gonna become our strawberry version portion of the ice cream. Look at that stuff. Oh, smells delicious. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put our heavy cream in our container here. We're gonna use our mixer to get it nice and fluffy like whipped cream, but before we do that, we're gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And it's just a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, believe it or not, just a little pinch of salt will help to bring out some of the flavor. Okay, let's go ahead and whip this up. All right, you wanna beat that until stiff peaks form, until it's really pretty thick, because this is gonna be a little bit thinner. Um, and now we're gonna mix in our strawberry mixture with the sweetener in it into our cream mixture. Let me get all of it out of here. Look how good this is gonna be. Oh, I can't wait. So we're just gonna stir it a little bit and then I'm gonna get the beaters back on it here until it's all nice and combined. All right, we've got a uh, our strawberry stuff going in here. It's gonna be so good. I've got my plastic bag, my freezer bag, which is doubling as a piping bag in a way, because we're gonna stick this in the freezer for about 45 minutes. Hopefully not more than that, because it might turn into a solid block of ice if you're not careful, but between about 30 minutes and an hour is a sweet spot. And then you're gonna be able to cut the corner off of this bag and you're gonna be able to, who, uh, squeeze out soft serve uh, strawberry like frosty or strawberry ice cream, so delicious. All right, check this out. Here is our ice cream in our bag. Look how nice and clean that is. We're gonna go ahead and stick this in the freezer. And once again, like I said, once it's a little bit more uh, hardened, you're gonna take it out and we'll do the rest. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, we just got this out of the freezer and guess what? We get to create our own piping bag just by cutting it off the off the corner. Now it's just gonna be like soft serve. Check this section out, you ready? Oh, yes. Like ice cream, soft serve, delicious. Now you can keep it in the freezer a little bit longer if you want it a little bit more firm. Uh, but this, I'm telling you, is delicious. The whole family's gonna love it. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh, that is good. It gets creamy, it's delicious. Mm. It's like ice cream. What more could you ask for? You're going to love this one. Check it out. Remember, keep it simple. Keep it fun. Keep it keto. Have an awesome day.